Lionel Messi is reportedly prepared to accept a mouth-watering contract from Al Hilal of Saudi Arabia, worth up to $350 million per year, currently a member of Paris Saint-Germain. Messi will become transfer-free in less than six months, when his contract with the club expires in the summer. Contrary to popular belief, Messi has reportedly agreed to a contract extension at the Parc des Princes, giving hope to parties like Inter Milan and his former club at C Barcelona. Clubs are reportedly lining up for Messi after Al Nasser signed Cristiano Ronaldo, according to a report in Marca. Al Idihad is last on the list and is prepared to match Al Hilal's offer. The player is still wanted by PSG, but no new contract has been reached with the FIFA World Cup champion. His contract could be extended for an additional season. We are unsure of PSG's ability to match this yearly wage. How can these clubs spend this much money on such legendary players? We can hear you asking. The Saudi Arabian government owns all of the soccer clubs. The world's richest and most powerful corporation is owned by the state. Oil is a valuable commodity that they pump and sell for billions of dollars. In 2022, the business generated more than $600 billion in revenue. It is now the richest nation on earth and has the resources to invest this much money in sports. The Saudis are reportedly willing to pay Messi a sum that would surpass generational rival Ronaldo as the highest paid player in the world, according to Mundo Deportivo, which claimed that Al Hilal is also trying to lure Messi away from League One. Ronaldo will receive about $210 million annually when he joins Al Nasser, a club that plays against Al Hilal. On the Forbes list of the highest paid soccer players in the world in 2022, Messi came in second with earnings of $120 million, of which $65 million came from on-field earnings and $55 million from off-field sources. Third place went to Ronaldo, who had a total of $100 million, including $60 million in off-field earnings. Then, Kylian Mbappe, Messi's teammate at Paris Saint-Germain, took the top spot with $128 million, split into $110 million on the field and $18 million off it as a result of his lucrative contract extension signed in the spring. It appears unlikely that Messi will accept Al Hilal's enormous offer. After all, Ronaldo represents a significant difference. After a dispute at Manchester United, the Portuguese player was unable to find a new club, and after losing his starting position for his country at the World Cup, clubs weren't exactly lining up to sign him either. Instead, Paris Saint-Germain wants to keep Messi and is putting together a proposal to keep him at the Parc des Princes for longer. Messi wants to stay in France for a longer period of time, according to French media reports, where he currently earns a net annual salary of about 41 million euros. With two of the greatest footballers of all time playing in their national league, Saudi Arabia would have a huge advantage in their bid to co-host the 2030 World Cup with Greece and Egypt. According to two different sources, cited by Mundo Deportivo, Al Hilal, is prepared to pay Messi 300 million euros, or as much as 350 million euros annually. It remains to be seen whether the Argentine would agree to move to a country with such different customs and a climate that is so complex in terms of temperature, according to the Catalan Daily, even though these are difficult sums to refuse. Messi is familiar with Saudi Arabia, though having been named the ambassador for the country's Visit Saudi Tourism campaign in 2022. Lionel Messi will receive 25 million euros annually for his ambassadorship, according to sources at The Athletic. How long the Argentine football player has been there is unknown. Messi might be able to meet with Al Hilal the following week. In fact, for a fictitious winter tour, his team Paris, St. Germain will visit Saudi Arabia and Qatar. The team will compete in a match against selected members of elite clubs, Al Hilal and Al Nasser, on Thursday, January 19. During this game, Cristiano Ronaldo will be present for the opening kickoff. Al Halal could take the chance to present him with a specific proposal. According to a source, games between Al Halal and Al Nasser are compared to the El Clasico between Barcelona and Real Madrid, which featured Messi and Ronaldo prominently in the late 2000s and 2010s. If Messi decides to end his time in Europe and accept Al Halal's lucrative offer, this could act as a general practice for their upcoming meetings. The signing of Cristiano Ronaldo by Al Nasser, in the opinion of former Al Nasser manager Raul Kanita, is only the beginning for Saudi Arabian clubs. He asserts that the nation in the Middle East is willing to pay players very well. So this was our today's video. I hope you all like this video.
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel, and also share it with your friends and family. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.